Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar has gotten off to a weaker start as the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, has paused its decline and now slightly rebounding and has potential to look towards the 104.50.70 area as it currently or presently holds around 102.10, given the fact that the recent hawkish comments from many Fed officials may actually strike a slightly bullish move. Looking at the Australian dollar at the moment, we can see the market weakness is focusing on that 68.25 level as we now await the RBA minutes. Hopefully from the minutes, we may be able to see what's behind the surprise 25 base point hike that we got in June and also posting an 11 year high. Meanwhile, looking ahead, we've still got US Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's testimony which will be the focal point as investors look for clues on the path ahead of the central bank. As it recently skipped its June hike, there is many expecting a July 25 base point rate hike. Any advancement should be capped by about the or well, recent highs around 69 cents. Euro is also a little bit weaker. As we can see, the market is pulling away from that top side level around 109.80.90. And now looking back towards 108.80. A break there would give further scope towards the downside and give us an objective to around 107.70 and reassess from this bottom side of the range. All cheers as the 142 level is reached and now potentially could put further upside potential. That is, if we see a close above there in the new session, as this may give a rise up towards 143 to 145. Any pullback is expected to be shallow with the support level seen at this stage around 141.35.45. Well, Super Thursday is now looking with the Bank of England expecting to raise rates by 25 base points. With inflation still relatively high, the market is expecting either 25 or 50. So be on your guard in case we see a strong hawkish tone from the Bank of England that may send the pound on towards the target of 130. Looking at the gold, the market is still somewhat lackluster with the US being out in observance of Juneteenth. The market is now finally picking up a bit of momentum that is towards the downside as the technicals are breaking down. I'm still viewing this level of 1,928 as crucial and a break there would give further scope to the downside of 1,912 and maybe even put an objective around 1,850. So it is a key point, so keep an eye on that level. Wrapping up with all, we can see the market is still maintaining a somewhat bullish stance after confirming its engulfing candle. We're looking to about $74 as an objective with any pullback to be limited. Reassessed from that top side has many attempts here we can see was respected. Well, that's a wrap for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report and I hope you enjoy the following start.